This morning, signs are pointing to a summer COVID surge. According to the latest CDC reports, indicators like hospitalizations, ER visits, and test positivity are up across the country. But experts say this surge is far less intense than those we've seen in the past. So just want to put that out there to begin with. So joining us live now, UCSF infectious disease specialist Dr. Peter Chin Hong is joining us live to chat about this. And doctor, you know, I was talking to my girlfriend about a week ago, and she said she was at a conference and everyone got COVID, and I was shocked to even hear that this is now becoming a thing again. It is becoming a thing again, Amanda. Um, I think it's not, this is the fourth consecutive summer we've had increase in cases. So it seems that it may end up being a summer tradition now, unfortunately for COVID, but nothing like the last three years and probably nothing like what we will see in the winter. So what do we know so far about this? How intensive is it? And do we really need to be concerned? I think we need to be open-minded, not fearful. Uh, it's not the same COVID for many people as in the last three years. However, some people are still getting very ill, and it's important to recognize uh, how to protect uh, all of us, include, especially those who are older than 65 and those who are immune compromised. Um, what we're seeing now is, like you said, increase in test positivity, increase in ER visits, increase in hospitalizations. But so far, and, and crossing fingers, not a, mm -hmm. a concomitant increase in deaths. So, uh, you know, an increase is starting from a very low place. So to give you some perspective, today at UCSF, in the hospitals, we have about 18 patients hospitalized with COVID. Uh, over the last few weeks, it was hovering around 10, mm -hmm. but nothing like 100 uh, like we had it over the winter. Got it. So we're seeing it kind of pop up, but not to an extreme level just yet. Um, so where are we at with vaccines and Paxlovid? Also, I was hearing possibly you'd talk about another booster shot. Yeah, so in September, we will get another, uh, the updated COVID vaccine. The CDC is not calling it a booster anymore because they wanted to simplify it. So it'll just be once a year, hopefully, like the flu shot um, around September, although most people might get it. Uh, depending on when the wave hits uh, in the winter. Um, it will be based on XBB, so it'll be updated from the current, uh, you know, BA variants that are in the, the available vaccine now. But for those over 65 and immune compromised, given the surge, if you haven't gotten it since last fall when it was first available, you should still go out and get it. For everybody else, I think you can wait till the updated vaccine comes out. Who should be most concerned about this and who should be taking precautions? I think we should all be taking precautions because, again, who wants to be out of a vacation or work, but not, you know, I think uh, prudent precautions. So that means that, you know, when you're traveling, uh, if you're ex escaping the outdoor heat and you're gathering indoors, um, these are all reasons to think about just carrying a mask with you in case always washing your hands. Remember, COVID is not the only virus around. There are a lot of other viruses that cause the cold circulating right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, test if you have symptoms, particularly if you have somebody uh, uh, elderly or immune compromised at home. And finally, for those folks, uh, make sure that they know that they have access to Paxlovid and early therapies because it can save you uh, from going to the hospital. All right. A good heads up that this is going around and just to be aware right now. UCSF infectious disease specialist, Dr. Peter Chin Hong, thanks so much for your time.